Well, town of Tonawanda officials want people to take a test drive of a temporary roundabout. It's been set up for the past two days so drivers can see and experience what a possible traffic change might be like. Let us know if you prefer roundabouts or traffic signals by going to WGRZ.com slash vote. And Channel 2's Heather Lee reports on how this one would be different and why it's being considered. This maze of traffic cones and hoses is a test run for a possible change to the intersection of Parker Boulevard and Decatur Road. It's the first ever demonstration project that we are aware of, and we want the community to see what we're proposing, to see what the idea is, to get a feel for it, to actually drive through it. If it's built, the change in traffic pattern would be a mini roundabout designed specifically for residential neighborhoods and, as the name suggests, smaller than other traffic circles in the area. But the mini roundabouts are designed to fit within the footprint of the existing intersection for the most part with some minor adjustments. As you can see here, the dimensions aren't too compatible with large vehicles. The mini roundabout would feature a gently raised and crossable center. Bigger vehicles or emergency vehicles, you can actually drive right over that uh, portion. Right now there's a stoplight at the intersection that could be upgraded. The town could also install stop signs instead. The idea here was to let drivers try it on for size instead of trying to envision the change on paper. A mini roundabout isn't a done deal. But there hasn't been any funding source nor any conversation at this point. We're waiting for the data. We want to hear from the town residents. We want to hear from the people that have gone through it. Well, more public hearings would likely happen before the town makes a final decision. Stop signs would, of course, be the cheapest option. The town officials say roundabouts have proven to be the safer traffic calming option. There is an online survey where you can weigh in. You can do that at WGRZ.com, or you can fill out a paper survey. They have people right near that roundabout. You can pick one up from them. And in fact, a lot of questions, a lot of people wondering how this all works. In fact, some city planners from Canada, they were in town yesterday to check it out for themselves. Heather Lee, Channel 2 News. Heather, thank you. You can see the results of our ongoing poll. They just came off the screen 51% to 49 in favor at this point of the roundabouts.